hello everyone creative winners here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will learn glass morphism it's quite popular and trending nowadays in 2021 it's quite popular under you know in user interfaces so this is the beautiful slide that we have created using glass morphism in glass morphism we use glass kind of interface to showcase the overall you know, user interface so please subscribe to our channel join the membership and we have created this presentation in six steps major steps so the first step is design the background a gradient background for that you have to insert a new slide and i have mentioned the color codes here so you have to copy the first color code and go to format background select gradient fill we need only two gradient stops and remove rest of the stops here in the first gradient stop fill the first color press ok and now copy the second gradient stop and on the second gradient stop you know paste the second color here press ok and you can change the direction now the second step is to create a circle to create a circle we have mentioned these settings but before that let's first insert a circular shape increase its size and remove its outline now we will follow the settings sheet here we need the gradient type radial and gradient direction from bottom right corner so select radial here and then gradient direction from bottom right corner so on the set uh, under the settings you can select the bottom right corner it's already selected by default now we have to fill the first gradient stop color copy the color code select the first gradient stop paste it so by default it's the same color the position for first gradient stop is 28% you can change the position as per the settings also you can drag the gradient stop and increase the transparency to 100% and similarly copy the color code for the second gradient stop and paste it on the second stop here press ok adjust the position and transparency it's 78% and transparency should be 0 so this settings sheet is very useful for you when you will design it. You can take a screenshot here. Now adjust the shape height and width as mentioned. Select the shape and go to shape format. Adjust height and width as per the measurements mentioned in the settings sheet. So, so now we have completed two steps move the slide further and now comes the third grid third you know step here we have to create a blurred shape to create a glass morphism effect for that you have to copy and paste this circle you know or you can duplicate it and create a semicircle now you have to check the settings sheet here and we need three gradient stops here if you can see here first second and third first of all let's insert one more gradient stop here and now just check the settings we need a linear linear left kind of gradient here so change it to linear and direction to linear left yes this one and now we have to change the colors as per the settings mentioned here copy the first gradient stop color on the first stop go to more colors and paste it here press ok by default it's the same color change the position as mentioned 
and transparency as well. We have to do it for all these three ingredient stops. I think by creating this settings sheet, it will be you know much easier for you to design these presentation slides. Similarly, for the second gradient stop, adjust the transparency level and position. And give the similar treatment to the third gradient stop. So if you search on Google Glass Morphism, you will find lots of examples there and it looks really beautiful and it's new and many websites are being created and apps are being created based on glass morphism nowadays that's why i thought let's create a design in powerpoint as well in fact i searched on youtube for glass morphism based presentation slides i found very few presentations so i thought let's give it a try coming back to the tutorial here you can change the edges here as per the settings and now you have to change its height and width and you can place this shape here it looks like a cloud or atmosphere above a planet now comes the fourth step let's create a second circle it's pretty easy just duplicate the first circle and paste it here and now let's check the sheet here we need two gradient stops let's first change the gradient type and direction so and now paste the colors for the first and second gradient stop as per the sheet again the steps are similar and in fact the colors are same i've kept the same colors because it will be easy for you to create now copy the second stop color and paste it here go to more colors custom and you can paste it here and adjust the position and transparency once done change the height and width as per the settings second circle is also ready we have completed four steps now comes the fifth step we have to create a rounded rectangle now insert a rounded rectangle like this reduce its roundedness remove outline align middle align center slightly move the circle and the shape to the left and now let's check the settings here we have to fill white color and then we have to keep the transparency to 50 to 55 percent and change the shape height and width and now you can see a glass kind of effect started to appear align to center and middle
doing some adjustment here so that it fits at the center move this circle to the right and now comes the last step we have to create a second rounded rectangle it means we will create one more layer over it so just duplicate this rounded rectangle and we have to follow a linear gradient with 45 degrees angle select gradient 45 degrees angle and pick these two colors adjust the position and transparency of each gradient stop as per the sheet so I'm just adjusting the second gradient stop here and you have to adjust the position for the second gradient stop as per the sheet you know the steps are same as you did for the first gradient stop and in all the previous steps and now adjust the first gradient stop position and transparency So this is looking really beautiful and you can see the glass kind of effect is coming out really well and that's all we need. And now we need to bring this circle to the front and you can add some animation on it. I haven't covered that animation in this video but in the final output you can see the animation of this second circle. It's moving up and down. So you can try these things. So I hope you like it. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership, hit like and share. And do not forget to download this presentation slide from the G Drive link provided in the video description. We will see you guys in our next video. Till then, stay with us. Bye bye.